Hi, everyone. It's Wednesday morning. And so, here we are to discuss video games. I'm going to turn on. Hmm. Let's see. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, we'll go lights on. Um, this week, uh, this Wednesday, in about uh, a little under eight minutes, uh, Microsoft is going to be doing what they are calling their Xbox Partner Preview, which is a third-party focused uh, thing that they are doing. They have uh, tipped their hand on three games that will be there. Uh, Tales of Kanzara colon Zao. Uh, Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess, and the first Berserker, Kazan. And uh, that that's pretty much uh, that's that's what we that's what we know of. That's uh, what is it? That's uh, EA because uh, Tales of Kanzara is a, a EA Partners game, right? Um, and then Kunitsugami is a Capcom thing, and then is the first Berserker is that Nexon? Is that next on? Anyway, uh, we'll see what else they have uh, going here. It just says uh, they'll have more than a dozen new trailers over the course of a 30-minute broadcast. So we don't really have any other de details on uh, what else will be present. Um, our Xbox partner preview format is all about sharing exciting games news from our talented studios across the globe with no frills, just new game reveals, release date announcements, and fresh new gameplay from upcoming games, coupled with unique behind the scenes stories from developers on Xbox wire. Whenever uh, games is used instead of game there, I assume that a British, a person out of the United Kingdom wrote it the difference between game journalism and games journalism if you know what i mean um and also the it's the the way they address companies as they instead of an it um is always a little weird that was something that when we were getting reviews in from the uk office we would have to edit We got a little under uh, six minutes here. Um, if you write, uh, so Brent says companies are a collection of people. They're they. Like, so the company isn't it. Capcom did this uh, in this in the singular. Um, the folks at Capcom, our friends at Capcom. Uh, all of that sort of stuff, then you would use they, which was sort of the the weaselly way to write around that uh, back then. Um, let's see here. Let's unmute this. They must have some music going. They do. Good God, man. We'll drop that down. Drop that down. Um, yes, that is it. It is specifically the Capcom have done this. That is how they would write it in the UK. As opposed to Capcom has done this. That was the thing that was just like I, I would read that and be like, what this is what what is happening here? Like it doesn't even make any sense. Uh to my uh, to my paltry American mind. Johnny, do you go through this? Is this a, is this a thing at home? Is this a, is this a constant thing at home? Um. Curious to see what they have. Three and a half minutes. The, the games they're tipping their hand on, that's, I mean, Kunitsugami looks cool. Like, you know, I... I Tales of uh, Kenzera looked cool last time I saw it, if I'm remember remembering it correctly. But the first Berserker is not ringing any bells at all. 
Um, and then they say other great titles that are coming to Xbox, Windows, or Game Pass. Not to just sit here and like copy edit the release they put out about this thing, but like if it's appearing on Game Pass, it also has to run on an Xbox or Windows. Or Game Pass is weird there. Because it can't run on Game Pass unless it also runs on one of the other things. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, two and a half minutes here. Uh, Capcom's also doing a separate thing uh, tomorrow. Which I will not be uh, available for. Um, uh, to 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 look at. But I think they're showing more uh, Kanutsu, Kanutsugami there. And I don't know if they're also, if that's going to be, is it a separate thing for Dragon's Dogma the day after? Is that what it is? Let me look. I think I got an email about this. While well, we got a little bit of time here. We got a little bit of time here. Capcom highlights presentation on Thursday and Monday. Okay. Dragon's Dogma. And Kanitsugami will be tomorrow. Wait. The shows will include exciting updates on Dragon's Dogma 2 and Kanitsugami on day one. And the latest news on Street Fighter 6, Monster Hunter Stories, and Exo Primal on day two. Okay. So those are going to be like 15 or 20 minute videos that they're doing there. So Monday they'll have some new Street Fighter 6 news and then... Uh, Tomorrow is a little bit of Dragon's Dogma too. That is the, to me, that's the takeaway there. But uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the latest news for Street Fighter Six would even be at this point, unless they're just going to show the next character, right? I mean, that's they've already kind of announced who's coming, and it's going to be like here's like it's Akuma, right? So, um, which is cool. I you know hey. And then maybe another costume crossover. Dress up like a Rathalos. A, a Zangief Rathalos skin for $18 or something. All right. Strap in. Get your helmets on. Get loose. I am not loose. I am the opposite of loose. Every, my shoulders, my, ugh, ugh. Oh. Oh. Xbox, okay. We're blacking out the sun for these video games. Give me that Saro Z content. Won't you at least tell me what we're doing here? All I know is that it's serious. It's more than serious, Serena. It is dangerous. The she ripped the soul out that dude's body and then hit him with it. That seems fucked up. In my experience, the greatest harm often comes from the best intentions. The cycle is starting again. How many more times must we endure the vanity of the Nine? When there isn't a path to be found, make one. All right, that's an interesting mix of... Huh. You've been here before, countless times. Some, and like so avenging spirit again. style, fact, possess an enemy and murder some dudes. 
Unknown Nine Awakening. Learn how to wield otherworldly skills in the world of Unknown Nine with an in-depth developer update on Xbox Wire. I will not! That look cool. Everyone's got oh yeah, X's this game's goal is to blow up and act like you don't know nobody. Not everyone's ex-employer set them up to take a fall. Just so happens they frame the wrong witch. Should have played for the Toronto Raptors, but they found uh, Raptors, but they found rice up in the rafters. They call me Lady Luck, and every card I draw is lucky. And when I find out what my old coven is up to, they better hope they have a good hand. Hmm. Over there! She's here! Not tonight, boys. If the coven wants to play, they'll have to play dirty. It's got a neat look to it. What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? The Altus tells the story of Yandols, a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Aw, jeez. Yan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, the planet Yan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. I was gonna say, does that base roll? Despite his best efforts, and it, it must roll Yan to stay out of time sunlight, right? To deal with all these problems on his. Is that what they're gonna do? They're just gonna be like, hey, the the sun is but coming, and the base needs to roll away. The planet Yan is stranded on. I hope so, because if they built a base that looks like a big wheel and the wheel doesn't pity. spin. I'm going to be very disappointed. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Yan is able to create alternative versions of himself. The Alters. Right, there was a trailer for this a while ago, Each right? one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Yan's past. The Alters are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? Then you wouldn't be what on the I space wheel. Out of college? Then you wouldn't be on the space what wheel. What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Then you wouldn't be on the space wheel. Our altars have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. But they also come with their own goals, ambitions, and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that... My motivation is fun! Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. Incompetence, incoherent decision making, a groundbreaking. I bet this would be a really cool voice acting figure. job Damn. of like it's I the same person, give everything up again. but like oh you know One maybe this one's a little more gruff blast. because he made some Put some effort, some in weird it. choices. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep everyone happy. You gotta learn how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can. Because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. There we go. Okay. The wheel rolls. That's all I want. The rest of this stuff, sure. Fine. Obstacles on the outside. Internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home is to press forward. All by myself is a pretty good 
little tagline there. That's pretty good. Get them all to walk back to the base, and then you put them to work. You go collect some resources. You build me some buildings. This one I'm just going to beat to death. Seems like you get a pretty big crew there. Learn how Creatures of Ava places you in the role of its savior in the first look preview on Xbox Wire. I guess, you know, you see games like that and you have to like break it down and go like, is this going to be a survival game or not? Because I don't, I don't want to play any more survival games at this, at this point. Or, you know, it's a pretty high bar, I guess I should say. Well, you know, you, you name a place Griefville, you get what you fucking get. It's a really uh, bad trailer for if you don't if you don't play Roblox. Uh, I love this like they're stopping to like it's it's not like a pat on the back, but it's like a hey by the way that was a new game reveal. Hey b by the way, just want to let you know, you had never seen that before this video. So uh, yeah, you're welcome. But like that Roblox thing is like it's stacked up pretty high, right? If you if you don't know what that stuff is, you're like, okay, it's, okay, I don't know what Griefville is. I can kind of infer by the end there. They're like, oh, I guess that's a thing that's a part of Roblox, okay? And then they're bringing Chucky into whatever that thing is, okay? How do I interact with that? In any, I mean, I assume I have to download Roblox, right? I mean, that's you can you can get that far, right? But, like, if you're not familiar with any of that stuff, it's just like, uh, okay, what? How do I even engage with this? If I wanted to, how how would I engage with this? Kids love Griefville. <laughs> Finally, the Suffering Three. 
we're out of the prison this time and Oh, that seems bad. I don't, maybe I should go back on the train with the water. Maybe the water is better than whatever this is. The Sinking City 2. This time it sinks for real. Want to dive deeper into this mystery? You get it? Discover dive more deeper. About this you get this? Get sequel in our Xbox Wire. He's ringing them up here. Boom. Boom. A realm that welcomes you. And bear the light for others to follow. A story that captivates millions. An airship for that ass. Cat ladies, dragons, all that shit, y'all. These scions will fight until our last breath. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice! You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Darkness and light, despair. I'm told that there's a free trial for this game on some platforms. Go with the other. Become light, become hope. Full release, baby. I do still want to play that game someday, but just the, you know, the idea of, of getting back into an MMO is just so daunting. And here we go. Let's see what this thing is. Let's see what this thing is now after seemingly a zillion years, man. Oh, wait. Huh. So they said that they captured that via backwards compatibility. Was that already on the compatibility list? Or is that... Are they secretly doing new backwards compatibility work? Think of Dave Snyder when I see this stuff running. I just go like, "Yep, these are the, these are the janky games." Legends of the Zone. Learn how developer GSC Game World brought the cult classic Stalker trilogy to Xbox in an exclusive Xbox Wire interview. Does that mean the new one's getting delayed again? Is this running via backwards compatibility? <laughs> this is the idea of anyone making a monster truck game in 2024 is so fucking far-fetched that I'm like, oh, this is an Xbox 360 game, right? There's no way they'd make another one of these, but here we are. Land on the other truck and crush it.
Yeah, Monster Truck Madness was a cool game. I don't know, monster trucks are neat. I feel like monster trucks in video games are rarely... Like, the freestyle monster truck thing is, is rarely as cool as you think it should be. Oh, jeez. Already doing DLC for this, huh? All right, sure. ま、そこ、同じ I should play this. I should play play reload. I should I should give it a look at some point. Yeah. I don't know. I've just never really cared for the Persona 3 characters, so Wait, so you're announcing the oh, okay. What To say you're announcing the third DLC before one and two. Oh. I don't know. You, I, okay, I don't know. The Velvet Room costumes are really that. Okay, sure. If that's priced appropriately, then fine. But I don't. That's Uncover something about that seems dark hour has in store. Uh, maybe not great. I don't know. This <laughs> year on Xbox Wire. Like you're putting out one piece of real DLC and some costumes before that. It's a hey. Just want to check in here. Uh, we're two thirds the way through. Just want to remind you, Shadow Drop. Something about them officially calling it Shadow Drop and and calling it out like that seems uh weird. Seems like just like lame. I don't know. It almost seems like this weird acknowledgement of just like you're not going to remember any of these games because they all kind of run together. So we're going to stop here. Uh, at every at every third in, in you know in the middle here and go like hey by the way this was a new game hey by the way we showed this one last year you already forgot about it but it's not a new thing I, yeah by the way this is out today and that's uh, that's that's cool right some I don't know something weird about that like it's very for a forward facing thing I guess I would say that's a little strange. I see we're going for a cinematic frame rate with this one. It's very wet. I'm just like listening to like... Like, did you encode this video wrong, or is this how the game performs right now? I mean, you know, hey, optimization happens late in development sometimes. It's not weird that a game would be framey, but like, it's just, eh. Again, just very wet, a lot of wet sounds up in my headphones during this. It's like, it's distracted me from all of this. It's like, like all I can retain here is like, oh yeah, okay, they're making some kind of character action game. Was the, okay, this is the first Berserker. Sure. The wettest Berserker. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. And why, Zhao, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. 
I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. Tales of Kinzera Zhao takes you on a journey through a land enriched with myth and legend, but torn apart by illness and tragedy. Grief is ever present here. From the arid deadlands, the harsh and unforgiving terrain, so, to the dense and dangerous forest floor the United the States. A place laden with mystery and fear. In your arsenal, you carry your late father's masks. The Mask of the Moon, utilized best for crowd control, and the Mask of the Sun, a chaotic ballet that compels you to engage spirits in melee combat. The Mask of the Moon, the Mask of the Sun, you must embrace the dance of the shaman. Each ability gained by the player can be used both traversally as well as in the fray of combat. That's cool. For example, you know, take a games like this always come down to their abilities and their traversal and, and, and like, you know, when you encounter a door that you can't open or a thing you can't jump over, what are they going to make that you use to get there? Obtaining powers and tools. This stuff seems neat. The tides of battle in your favor. The way you took that rojo out was amazing. You should not sneak up on people, young shaman. We are shamans. Healers in a land long past healing. The complexities of grief inspired the foundations of the world of Kenzera. You will be faced with intricate puzzles, arduous obstacles, and deceptive traps that demand both patience and skill to overcome. And though the path is fraught with adversity, an even fiercer battle rages within you. Mercy is a rare flower yeah. that blooms in the lands of This Kinzera. looks very neat. But you can do this. I know you can. Very tense music. Like the the belies like when they're like, oh, by the way, this game's all about grief. It's very sad. You're like, okay. My hands kill all the ice bloods. That's what my hands say. Nothing like a nice wintry game, middle of, middle of the summer, nice late July. It's going to be a cold summer. You know, it's like, like come on. It's, yeah, exactly. It's Christmas in July. Like, you know, give me something. Don't actually give me something. Don't actually give me that. These areas look crazy. They, they, you know, like look at all look at all this shit happening right here in front of you. <laughs> like there's just a lot of Capcom presents. Capcom. Oh, it's not just X Men: Children of the Atom again. It's not just a um, Marvel versus game again. Sorry, whenever they start with Capcom Presents, I just assume. Purge the Defilement. Man. Trying all my life. Okay, rescue villagers and give them rolls. You, go ring that bell. You, turn into a clothes hanger that I can hang my wet laundry from. So during the day, you set up your defenses, you turn your villagers into defenses, and then... And then this. I guess that's why it looked like there were so many dudes on screen before. Because it's a crazy village battle. Okay, strategically position and fight alongside the villagers. 
didn't say it up front here. Maybe a little more management uh, than I'm looking for, but this does look kind of rad. Dance these fuckers to death. Suck it, hell portal. I hope there's a rhythm game component to that. Creepy talking bugs. I don't need it, man. says game pass i mean i assume that's means a day one learn how kanitsugami path of the goddess mixes action and real-time strategy in an exclusive xbox wire piece all right But which one of these is new and which one of them is... I, I don't... How am I to know? Um, okay. Well. Sure. Generally speaking, I do like the format. I mean, you know, the of just like yo man, we're gonna we're gonna run through some games. Um There's just something kind of weird about again, like stopping partway through to just remind people like this was a new and this was a new and out. This was a world premiere. And then uh you know labeling your shadow drop a shadow drop I, I just i don't know i don't i don't especially like the term shadow drop but who cares um i don't know good solid 30 they stopped multiple times to show here's what we're showing and yet i'm sitting here trying to wrap up and i'm like what are they what was in there Uh, that Stalker uh, compilation was part of that. Final Fantasy got a, a release date there. They showed whatever that Roblox Chucky thing is. There was the Monster Truck game. Yeah, Monster Truck, uh, you know, just conceptually. Um, Monster Trucks... And a lot of monster, a lot of monster truck games end up being like, um, not that different from motocross games, just heavier, you know, like, Hey, we got to do these kind of races. We're going to do some monster truck races. And then also, uh, you're going to do some freestyle stuff. And it's like conceptually not that different from some freestyle motocross type stuff. And I feel like both of those. Like that specific subgenre of motorsports uh, always ends up being kind of weird. Like those games always end up weird. They they never. It it I don't know. I'm trying to think like were there games that ever truly felt like? But I you know, I don't know. Like monster trucks, I think are a cooler idea in theory than they often are in practice. Like a tractor pull. For example, the cl a classic monster truck style event. Not, ex not exactly exciting in a video game. Uh, not even all that just fun. It, it, like not especially fun in real life, actually. Either. Um, 
the old the old tractor pull, but I guess they didn't really show that in there. I don't know if they're going to have uh you know realistic uh tractor pull simulations in that game or not. I got a baby looking at me through the window. Someone should let that baby in. It's raining outside. Uh, yeah, they showed the altars again. Showed a little bit more of that. That wheel definitely rolls. Uh, slide of hand looked kind of cool. Unknown nine looked kind of neat. Um, the first berserker didn't really do anything for me. Uh, Tales of Kinzera. Uh, yeah, I think I think that looks really neat. Uh, I was not a I I I did not get attached to Frostpunk one. Uh, very well. It, it always looks it looks great, you know. Like Frostpunk two, even you know, it looks fantastic. But I just I don't know. I I never, I never really. Uh, I just never. I, I I did not connect to it. Uh, Creatures of Ava. Oh, that was the game where you form a posse of animals by blowing your little flute there, your little Pied Piper thing. I was like, what was that even? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's some video games. They said they were going to show video games and they showed them. Uh, and uh, all that stuff's coming out on, as they said, either Xbox, Windows, or Game Pass. Um, so, cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll do some more videos on the internet very soon.